Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to achieve this very standard smoky eye but I'm going to use a colourful palette. This is the mini controversy from Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson and when you look at this palette you don't immediately think oh yeah smoky eye. So if you would like to find out how to achieve a standard smoky eye everyday makeup look with a colourful palette then just keep on watching. I have decided to make a playlist which I will link in the cards. I made a playlist titled Jeffree Star Shane Dawson Mini Controversy Palette because I noticed that a lot of people appreciate tutorials for this palette. I keep getting comments how this tutorial was very useful and I want to keep making them. If you guys are going to watch them then I'm going to keep making them. I do feel like people look at this palette and think Ah! That's quite literally how I imagine people looking at this palette. You have blues and purples which we don't often use on every day. Some people might think I'm never gonna get a smoky eye out of this and uh, that's where you're wrong my friend. Let's just get started. For my eyeshadow base today I want to use up or test whether I will be able to use it up this way. Product that I tested out ages ago. This is kind of how I use up products that I don't use for their intended use. There was a lot of use in that sentence. Whenever I test product and it doesn't work out for me I usually either sell it on Depop or I keep it to see whether I can make it work and this is one of those products. This is a concealer from Morphe. It came out with this foundation that I will be using today, the Fluidity collection the fluidity line it's in c125 it's an okay concealer it's just a little too heavy for me under the eye it just doesn't really do what i want it to do so it's not the best but i'm going to use it as an eyeshadow primer today it has an awful smell it's like so chemical so far so good, not too dry, it will carry on setting, but so far cannot complain. Now I'm going to put my mirror down and switch to the mini controversy palette. I'm taking a big fluffy brush and I'm going to dip into cry on my couch. I want to take this shade and put it all over the lid just to set everything. This is a very close to my skin tone shade, so obviously if you're a little bit darker than me, this might be too light, so skip this step. Or if you're a fairer complexion, if you're even lighter than myself, you can go ahead and use this in your crease. You don't have to set your lid before doing this makeup, I'm just doing so to achieve a better blend. Sometimes if you set your lid it works a bit better. I'm now going to switch to a tapered brush and dip into a diet root beer. The reason why I want to take a tapered brush is because I'm putting this uh, brown shade on the very tip. This will help to fit that brush in the crease of my eye and then I'm just using a back and forth wiper motion just to place this on and gently start to blend this in. Because this is tapered, I've put majority of my shadow on the tip and the shorter bristles will help it blend. I'm now going to take that super fluffy brush and blend with that as well. I'm going to take that fluffy brush and dip into Diet Root Beer just the tiniest bit, like three little dabs. I was four but you know what I mean and I'm tapping excess off and I'm also blending I like to wing out my shadow so I'm, I'm kind of blending in that direction there just to wing it out pulling it out right there as you can see we have a nice blend and we've only used technically two shades but you can definitely just use one. I'm now going to dip into 
controversy the purple shade and I'm using that tapered brush but I'm taking quite literally the tiniest of amounts and very very gently I'm adding some of that purple into my crease as well you will immediately see that the combination of diet root beer and controversy gives you like a very deep darker brown and then I'm blending that in as well it is quite a common practice to add a little bit a dash of purple into smoky eyes because it gives you that depth it actually takes the browns and the blacks into another dimension and I'm not sure whether I should cut my crease or Nah, I'm just going to take my boyfriend's purse on a flat brush. I did wet my brush with just a little bit of water, quite literally just a bit of water. And I'm going to put this on the inner portion of my eye. It's a very nice, cool toned, warm toned, silver gold. I can't describe it. You'd think it's only silver, but it isn't it's got a combination of both silver and gold i'm gonna put this on like the two thirds of my lid i find that it looks the best it makes your eyes look bigger and you can see even though i didn't cut my crease prior to this shimmer application it looks as if i did which is nice time to finish the outer corner i'm taking a little bit of diet root beer on my tapered brush and I'm going to slowly blend the shimmer in. I always like to do this at an angle. Don't know why. Just a little bit there. And again, I'm taking a little bit of controversy. Oh, too much purple. And you can even leave it there. That's not what I'm gonna do. Now I'm going to take a black coal liner and line the outer half of my eye near my lash line. You want quite a creamy liner, not like super thick, but a little thicker on the outer corner and going thinner towards the inner portion of the eye. And now I'm going to take a definer brush. This just happens to be angled and I'm going to take that liner and I'm going to smudge it a little bit smudge 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 make sure you're smudging in an upward direction and when most of that is smudged I'm taking a little bit more of diet root beer on my tapered brush and I'm going on top of this liner and blending everything together again just making sure that black is part of the brown I'm going to take a cotton round with a little bit of makeup remover. I always fold it in half and I'm going to clean up my outer corner. There we go. That's our smoky eye almost done. I'm going to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone in a second. Let me do my other eye off camera and then I will be right back to do the base and finish off the eyes. All right, the other eye is done. Let's do the base. Like I said, I'm going to use the Fluidity Foundation from Morphe. I have the shade 1.70. Oh yeah, super crazy matte. Forgot about that. It's definitely a little too light for me. So the foundation is all right is very very matte and if you do have texture it will kind of emphasize it or at least it's definitely not helping it doesn't smooth out your skin it has a lot of coverage it's not bad definitely not my favorite let's try the concealer under the eyes again actually no let me do my bronzer first as always revolution matte base concealer in 13.5 I like that a lot. Like my base looks nice. I feel like a bronzed goddess. Now let's give the concealer another try. This will be very fair. So I'm not putting on a lot. Yeah, she take. 
for its thickness it doesn't actually have that much coverage like you would expect a lot more coverage from this concealer with this consistency and now I'm going to set my under eye with the RCMA no color powder actually I take that back I need a little bit on my forehead because obviously my forehead line is eating this foundation up I need to get some Botox I'm gonna do my brows finish off my eyes because I don't know whether I want blush whether I want highlight so let's do that of course for my brows I'm sorry I'm going to use I Love pomade in blonde and for the eyes I'm taking a this is one of my faves this is jazz up smudger brush it's like a definer brush but it's a lot thicker like fluffier I love this I'm taking a diet root beer on this brush and I'm going to stamp this on my lower lash line I'm just leaving the tiniest gap near my tear duct making sure I merge the top with the bottom I'm going to take that tapered brush to blend this in and now with that tapered brush I'm dipping the very tip of it into both the diet root beer and controversy just to put the tiniest bit of that concoction on the like outer third of my eye I could add a little bit of black just the tiniest bit so I'm going to take my coal liner I want to smudge it like I did at the top so I'm merging the black at the top and the bottom just smudging it with my definer brush but again I'm not done yet I'm going to take my smudger brush and dip into both the controversy shade and diet root beer and blend this black even further the last step is to highlight and we are still going to stick with this palette I'm taking that flat brush I used for my boyfriend's purse and I'm dipping into flat earth I'm taking a very small amount and because this very light blue is white based it actually does act as a highlight very nicely and it almost looks like a white shade if you didn't know any better you wouldn't know that that highlight is blue i don't recommend it for a brow bone highlight you're probably better off using my boyfriend's purse for that that's pretty much it for the eyes let's put some mascara on and some falsies for my lashes I decided to go for like a natural pair and I'm actually not putting any mascara on my bottom lash line again before I do my blush and my highlight I'm going to clean up my lips off I haven't used this in a very long time Celebrity Skin from Jeffree Star I'm gonna lighten the center with I'm Nude okay I'm not mad at it and finally it's time for the blush and the highlight because I want to fit the theme of this warmth I'm going to stick with my Rimmel maxi blush in sweet cheeks and for my highlight because I used Jaclyn Hill cosmetics highlight for past couple of weeks I'm gonna go back to one of my faves the at heart revolution rose gold glow highlighter so good to be fair if you can't afford the Jaclyn Hill one this gives you a very similar effect it's equally as blinding equally as reflective equally as eye-catching all right you guys so here it is this is my final smoky eye using the mini controversy palette i hope you found it useful as always i know a lot of you appreciate the tutorials i make for this palette so here's another one uh, make sure to check out that playlist i made for you guys again it's in the cards i might leave it at the end so check it out i've already made like five looks using this palette and none of them look the same highly 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 recommend this palette and i'll tell you a little secret i sold my conspiracy palette i didn't get any use out of it i 
enjoyed the colours, it worked just fine, the colour scheme was great but I didn't gravitate to that one definitely nowhere near as much as I do to this one. Again I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, I hope you liked the look, let me know what you think of it down in the comments below, I would love to know. I think that's it, I hope you have enjoyed that, if you did make sure to like, comment, subscribe, Thank you so much for watching, you are the best, I hope to see you next time.